Alright, so you've seen my previous 20 bases I've showcased. Links in the description, watch them after this video, thank you daddy. And maybe those bases just weren't unique enough for you. Well, it just so happens that we have another 10 bases, with all of them being pretty unique. We've got a couple underground bases, a cliffside base, farmhouses, and more. And let's just get straight into the tour of the first base. So starting off, let's take a look at my second iteration of underground bases. The first version being in part two of this video series. And we'll also be looking at the third iteration at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around for that. So to open up this base, which the door is right here, I'm pretty sure it's these two blocks, all we have to do is just chuck an item on top of this block here, and then the door will open. So heading on inside, we can of course turn to the right and open up this barrel to grab our items back that we've been using to open up the door with. And then we can also press this button right here to close the door behind us. And then turning around, we can take a look at the entire base. So unlike the first iteration of underground bases, this one is instead a square or like donut shape, I guess. And then the last one is actually a similar version of this, but it is two stories tall. But yeah, so taking a look at this one, we can actually just quickly go through all of the different sections. So this first section here is of course just purely decorative. I couldn't really think of what to put in here, so I just added in some neat shelves. To the left of this, we have a toggleable nether portal. Pressing the button on the right, we'll turn it on. And pressing the button on the left two times, we'll turn it off. To the left of this, we have a fully automatic sugarcane farm. Uh, don't worry about the missing observer there. That one is actually supposed to be there. But yeah, the whole idea behind this is you turn this lever on, which will make this hopper in a minecart go back and forth. The observers here will constantly activate the pistons as the sugarcane kind of grow up in front of the observers. And then those sugarcanes will, of course, get picked up by our minecart here, which will then go into this double chest. To the left of this, we have our completely empty animal pens, as they are too loud and annoying. This is, of course, meant to be expanded. It's kind of small at the moment, so yeah. In the next section, we have our smelting area. We have a whole bunch of regular furnaces, a couple of blast furnaces and smokers, and also some barrels along the top for storage. To the left of this, we have our main storage area with a whole bunch of double chests, and then following that, we also have our crafting area right next to it. Then continuing on, we have our bedroom over here. We have a neat little design. I actually really love the way this looks. I've used this in a couple of base designs, and I will continue to do so. And then we have a triple wide bed. I don't know why there's so many beds, and we've also got some storage storage behind them as well and some neat little bookshelves. Then over here we have our enchanting area. We've got a bunch of barrels to store your books and lapis lazuli and stuff like that. And then to the left of that we also have our brewing area with a little mini nether wart farm back here as well. And then for our final section we just have another decorative piece. It's just kind of like a triangular shaped armor stand thing. Once again feel free to replace this with something you feel is more useful to you. And then of course can't forget in the center of the base we actually have a neat little crop farm here as well. Next up it's onto the large medieval farmhouse. And you might be able to notice this base does look very, very different from my usual style, and that is thanks to this build actually being a collaboration with one of my favorite builders, Cryptozoology. So be sure to check out his channel, link in the description. So firstly, taking a look on the outside over here, we actually have a nice little horse stable. So your horsey friend is always close with you in your base. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the actual exterior. I did do a fly around of the base, so I won't do another one. And uh, yeah, let's just head through the front door into the first floor. So on the first floor here, we actually have some brewing at the back here, and then to the right of this, we actually have a giant smelting wall with a bunch of barrels at the top as well. And also, we have a little chimney decoration here that kind of connects up to a chimney. It's a little bit offset to the right, so it doesn't really make that much sense, but yeah. <laughs> To the left of this, underneath the staircase here to the second floor, we actually have kind of like a little reading nook or like some bookshelf things. I don't really know. And then over here in this corner, we actually have a little bit of storage and then another lectern as well, just for decoration. We've also got this nice little house plant here too. Heading up the stairs up to, of course, the second floor, we have like kind of a main hallway here that leads over to our bedroom and also our enchanting area. So firstly, heading through the bedroom, we of course have our bed. We've got some nice shelves on the sides here as well with a little bit of storage and just a bunch of decorations. And then on this side, we have more storage and some barrels and also a whole bunch of bookshelves and more decorations. Now heading out of the bedroom, we can take a look at the enchanting area, which also doubles as a crafting area and a little bit of storage as well. So as you can see, we have some crafting blocks kind of tucked away in here, and then we have our enchanting table area and then also more storage. And yeah, that pretty much does it for the second floor. We also have some more crafting blocks out here as well. Now let's head up to the final floor, which is actually the attic of the base. And up here pretty much serves as our main storage area. As you can see, we have have a whole bunch of double chests. And also at the back, we have more crafting blocks, also a furnace as well, and a brewing table. And yeah, so that pretty much does it for the farmhouse base. Next up, we'll be taking a look at the ultimate survival base. So we've got a pretty cool circular design going on here with a whole bunch of crop farms. And then towards the center, we have a kind of animal pen section. And then on the right here, we have a horse stable, our mine entrance, and also a decorative kind of blacksmithing area. 
then heading around back here, we can actually take a look around the exterior of the base. This is how it looks. Then we can head through the front door into the first floor. On the left side here, we have our crafting area. Beside this, we've got our smelting and we've also got our enchanting here as well. And finally our storage on this side. Heading up the ladder, we can take a look at the bedroom right here. On this side, we have our brewing area with our nether wart farm as well right beside it. And then on this side, we just have some storage. These doors as well, pretty much just lead out onto the balcony on every single corner of the base. Heading up the ladder once again to the final area, we have our attic with just a whole bunch of storage. Next, we have the modern wooden base. So the whole reason this base pretty much exists is for this kind of window design here, which I came up with late at night one night. And that's repeated on this side as well. It's just kind of stretched out a little bit more. And then the other thing to note of the exterior over here is we have a cute little garden. Now let's head through the front door and take a look at the first floor, which is where we have our smelting. We also have our crafting and a little bit of storage as well. Next, let's head down to the basement. And as you can see down here, we have our enchanting area right in the center. Off to the left, we have our bedroom area with a little bit of storage. And then over on this side here, we have our main storage area with a bunch of double chests. Now let's take the ladder up to the second floor. And up here, we have just a single double chest. This is kind of for your crop storage. And then heading out through the door here is where we have our nice little crop farm at the top of the roof here. We've also got a conveniently placed composter and barrel right here as well. And yeah, that's all there is to this base. Next, onto the cozy cottage house. Now, as you can see, this base is in a pretty different style compared to what I usually would build. And I was just trying something different, so don't judge me. So taking a look around the exterior, of course, we have a cute little crop farm around the front. We've also got some greenery kind of strewn across around the base. We've got some azalea bushes and also oak leaves in the roof as well. We've got a cute chimney as well that links up to an actual furnace inside the house. Heading through the front door onto the first floor, as you can see, we have some crafting blocks over here. We also have our bedroom here as well and a little bit of smelting. This is kind of meant to be like a kitchen area as well and we got some barrels up top there as well. Now heading up to the second floor up here, we have more of our crafting blocks. We've also got some more furnaces and then on this side we have our chests. Yes, these do open and also a couple of barrels. There's not too much going on with this base so it's meant to be more of like a starter base or just a purely aesthetic kind of base. Next up, it's onto the aesthetic mountain base. So as you can see, this base is again pretty different from all of my previous ones in that it's actually in the base of like a cliff or mountain here. We've got a big window here to show pretty much all of the base, which leads to our front door here and a pathway that just kind of goes off to wherever. So heading through the front door at the very beginning here, we have a toggleable kind of armor stand display. I don't know why I really added this in. It's just kind of like a cool thing, I guess. Then heading over to the left here, we have pretty much everything in the entire base. We've got an island here with a bunch of furnaces and some barrels as well. Over here is our crafting area and our extra smelting blocks. Down the bottom here, we've got a bunch of crafting tables. So you can just kind of right click wherever you want and you'll be in crafting. Now over on this side here, we have our storage area with again down here. This time we've got barrels. And then over to the left here, we have our bedroom. We've got two beds with their own personal storage on each side with also their own toggleable lights. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the aesthetic mountain base. Next up, we have the large medieval mansion. And you're gonna have to forgive me as this one is a little bit messed up. As you can see, this is kind of weird. I had to change it up for a video that I did a little while ago. And this is the only version of the base I have. So yeah. So out the front, we have a cute little pond. We've got a custom tree here as well. And then yeah, we can just head through the front door. And this right here has to be probably my all time favorite interior that I've created. I don't know why. I just really like the way that this looks probably with a deep slate and also this big wall over here in our island. I just really like the way this looks. And with that said, let's head up the ladder to the second floor. Up here is probably my least favorite interior as it was an absolute pain in the butt to create. But over here in this little nook, we have our bedroom. Up here, we have our enchanting area. This does of course reach a full level 30 as much of a pain in the ass it was to create this. Then heading over here, we have our brewing area with some barrels to store in your brewing needs. And down here in this little nook, we have our storage area. Continuing on, we have the mountain house. So this one's pretty cool. We actually have an elevator that leads all the way up to our base, all the way up here at the side of this mountain. So let's actually jump back down into the entrance and we can take a quick look around here as well. We've got some water that's kind of pouring out from the sides and this is like a cool place to actually farm some sugarcane if you wanted to. Next, we can take these stairs up to the elevator. So the left side here is the one that's going to shoot us all the way up to the base. Then we can head out through our door here and this is pretty much the main base area. So firstly, we can just take a quick look at the balcony. Yep, that's the balcony. <laughs> Heading back inside, we can head around to the left. Over here, we have our storage. We've also got brewing over here and some enchanting in the middle. To the right of this, we have a cute bunk bed design and then also our smelting area. Heading back around to the elevator, we can head up this right side and up the ladder and this will take us up to our roof, which is where our crop farm is. We've got two little cute custom trees and yeah. To head out of the base, we actually 
go back down here and just open up this trapdoor and then we can fall into our water here and just leave the base. Next up, it's onto the second to last base, the underground house. I'm of course saving the best base for last. So on the outside here, we have a bunch of pillars all connected up by azaleas and we have crop farms going between all of these as well, just pretty much for an aesthetic purpose. They're not really meant to be used. Then we can head to this trapdoor right here and down the ladder into the actual base. So firstly at the back wall, we have a bunk bed design. To the right of this, we just have some aesthetic stuff going on with some leaves. At the back wall here, we have some more aesthetic stuff going on and we have like a wither statue kind of thing as well, which is pretty cool. Now over to the left side of the base, over here we have our smelting, crafting and storage. And then heading over to the right side of the base, we have our brewing, enchanting and our nether wart farm. All right, so onto the final base, we have the ultimate underground base. This one is pretty much the peak of my career right here, so let's just dive right in. So similar to the other bases, to open it up, we just have to throw an item on top of this block right here and the door should open just like so. Heading on through, we have a kind of square design similar to the second underground base, except we of course have two stories. So firstly here, we can use this barrel to grab our item back and we can use this button as well to close the door behind us. And the water here as well is also the elevator to get up and down the base. I'll show that in just a second. So taking a look around the top floor, in the first section here, we have our fully automatic sugarcane farm, which something also is pretty cool is the hopper that picks up all the sugarcane actually goes over a hopper here, which goes directly into your store storage area. In the next sections, we have our enchanting area. This one's pretty plain and simple. And then beside this, we have our bedroom. We have a couple of hidden barrels. We've got a hidden one up here, and then we have another hidden one, which is a lot more hidden than this one, which is directly under the bed right here. If I can get into it, there we go. In the next section, we have our brewing area, and beside that, our nether wart farm. Then to the left of this, we have our wither statue thing, similar to in the underground house. And I should also mention, there is a whole bunch of netherite blocks in this base, and the whole idea of the ultimate base is to eventually fill these all up with netherite blocks. You can of course use placeholder blocks in the meantime. To the left of this, we have our first indoor farm section. We have another one over here. I'm not gonna show it because it's exactly the same. We have a ladder back here, which heads up to the second floor. So you can actually access all these crops. And then over here, we have our aquarium, which actually spans over both floors of the base, which is pretty cool in my opinion. My man is freaking going hard, holy crap. Uh, down here to the left, we have our furnace area. Then beside this, we have a storage section. Over here is our elevator. I actually forgot to show that. Uh, so this side will push you up and then this side sucks you down go through the door right here and then if you wanted to go back up you could go up through here and yeah beside the elevator we have another storage area which is exactly the same as this one except this hopper here is the one i talked about before where your sugar canes will go down into this chest to the left of this we have crafting and then we have a super smelter right here as well then along the back wall here we have a whole bunch of animal pens and then finally we have another toggleable nether portal right here all right, so that's it for all of the bases. If there's any that tickle your fancy, be sure to check the description for the link to its video. Also, if you happen to miss them, parts one and two go over 10 more base designs each, so be sure to check those out. Thank you so much everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.